pointing to Habib's eye. The one-touch push pass, and we'll see what the call is here. It looks like it'll be a corner kick, and Sam Farr will come over to take it. Seventeen and a half minutes left in the first half. It's a low kick. But uh, Far, I was going to suggest, may have had another chance there. But Bobe turns and tries to center it in. Headed out by Keating. Davis Keating to here now. He's got Ike Bakunda. Bakunda will take a strong kick on the ground, though. So Gould will pass it up here to Smith. Smith on the left side to Gilbert. Gilbert's got to here on him. The, the Bulldogs... Do not give an inch. They're a very, very physical team. Number 20 now, Henry Herbold checks in, a freshman midfielder. Looks like there are two players checking in for the Hawks. Didn't catch the other one. As Casey with the throw, Habib's eye comes in, thwarts that opportunity. This time getting a foot on it is Logan Smith. And now over to Gilbert, Devin Gilbert. To here with a nice one touch over to Farr. Tries to get it back to him, goes a little ahead of him. Gould gets a foot on it, but to here now will send Bobe. And here we go, folks. Oh, just off of Bobe's foot. Gold kick. Hanson Casey with the big long kick, but it goes out past uh, Herbold. So Ike Bakunda with the throw. He can throw it long and far if we need it, and that's about what he does. It'll be a corner kick as that goes off the head of Davis Keating. Again, Sam Farr to line it up. 15 minutes left. We're 25 minutes into the first half and we don't have a score yet. Probably not the way it was drawn up by Coach Frenzelli. Plenty of time though. It looks like we're playing with a pink ball today as well. Here's a bib's eye with a foot on it to Yama. Yama in the corner and out. It'll be thrown by Charlie Govan. To far. He wants to cross it and he gets it in. A little too far though. And Irving comes after it. To De Heer. De Heer's pushed. No call, excuse me, Bobe, not, not called though. There's a long, a great kick by De Heer. And again, who comes in? It's a great save, but once again, Hanson Casey. So in the early going, Hanson Casey has been the difference here from the defensive end for the Hawks as the ball has spent a lot of time on, in the Hawks end of things. Here's Farr, a little too far ahead of him though, and that will go off the foot of Yama. So Gus Leisentritt and Kla Kyle Klaus, or Klaus, will once again check in for the Hawks. It's a well-placed uh, throw, but Farr comes up with it. In the middle, though, trying to find Yama, but intercepted. 
by number eight, Smith. And now Dahir, number eight, gets it back. Sends it in. Oh, but headed out by Fife. And here's Bobe. To Dahir. Dahir with a shot in, wide left. Portland outscoring Marshwood approximately three to one. 12 minutes, 20 seconds left in the first half, and the score is Marshwood nil and Portland nil here in boys varsity soccer action. Brochu just lets it go out. Dahir to Yama, to Dahir. Back to Yama. Past one defender, over to uh, Charlie here, Govan, and uh, is stepping in front to get the ball as close. And here comes Yama. Govan. We'll give him credit for a shot, though. A weak one, perhaps by design, is number six, Dan Kane, set to check in for the Bulldogs with 11 minutes left in the first half. Played prominently against Deering, started that game, did well. Ike Bakunda with a massive clear there. So Marshwood, I guess you could say, holding their own, if nothing else here, late into the first half with no score. Certainly not intimidated by the Bulldogs. They can gain a lot more by beating Portland than Portland can by beating them. As number six, Dan Kane does check in for Haruna Bibzai, will take a rest. And number five, Lysentritt will check back in for Wilson. And Henry Herbold will take a rest as well. To here. Nine and a half minutes in the first half. Jonathan Bobe to throw. Here we go now. Charlie Govan will settle and shoot. Save. That was, though, a smart play by Govan as uh, he settled it, looked for the good shot, got it down on the ground, and really. Uh, one of the best looks that the Bulldogs have had today is that shot by Charlie Govan. Here's Yama. It's got 10 all over him, a Forrester. And it will be Marshwood Ball. Casey up to Gould, over to Forrester, who's got to hear on him. And this is what Portland is so good at, winning these. Oh, but it did just go out. But winning these one-on-one -on -one battles and fighting for every ball, winning possession. Ike Bakunda. Oh, 
Uh, Irving tangled up there a little bit uh, with uh, Gould. Seven and a half minutes left in the first half. Zero to zero the score. Portland Bulldogs in the Marshwood Hawks here on WPPS TV3 Sports. Hanson Casey with the big boot. Marshwood's, I think, design is a very defensive design uh, today, and uh, they don't have a whole lot of players up front. Here comes Far now. Oh, my gosh, through the legs, and it will be a corner kick. So, oh, well, no, I guess it's going to be called uh, Marshwood Ball. So I may have seen that a little differently from what the referee did. The referee is standing right there. Casey. Gilbert heads it, but Yamaha comes up with it. Bobe on the right side. Bobe brings it to the middle. One touch over to Deheer, back to Govan. Tries to one-touch it over to Yamar, and he does. Out a little far and double-teamed. My gosh, it seems like he's toying with some of these players, but really, uh, it's a great defensive effort by the Marshwood Hawks. And there's Bobe with a header and a save. So Gavin now. Oh, to here with a great play is equal tee it up and shoot right on goal. Great save by Samuel Leaf. So here we go now. That'll be a throw by Ryan Fife. Harun Habibzai checking in for Portland and Henry Herbold. And Zachary Wilson checking in for the Marshwood Hawks. Four minutes, 25 seconds left in the first half, and the score is nil to nil. The ball has spent the majority of the half over the 50-yard line in the Hawks' defensive zone. And here's Portland with a threat right now. Habib Zai with a one-touch over a little far, but it goes to Bobe, and now here comes Yama in the middle. Whoa, he's taken down and by number 22, Devin Gilbert. He's down on the ground, but Gilbert picks him up. So it will be a Portland kick from about the 32. We'll get the 10-yard wall. It's up and wide left. Three minutes left in the first half. Big Hanson Casey will take the kick here. Even a tie 
by Moshwood will mean something important to them as they are 0-7-1 and in their 13th right now. The top 12 teams make the playoffs, but behind them are two one-win teams, including Wyndham and Thornton, and a two-win team, Massabesic, which is 2-5. and five. The only team to beat the Bulldogs this year are, uh, is another York County team. As Noble defeated the Bulldogs. One to nothing. So Casey with the throw. Govan settles. Nice little push pass there, but kicked in by Lysentritt. Here comes Brochu to settle. Turns and finds Dan Kane, who passes out to the wing to Bobe. Who gets Govan. Govan's got uh, Dahir, and he finds him. And Dahir with the shot. Oh, and a great save. What a great, well-placed shot by Ibrahim Dahir. Forty-four seconds left in the first half, and the score is nil to nil. Dan Kane now. Playing smart soccer, though, looking for Irving on the left side, but a little too far out in front. Davis Keating will get there. And Casey will take the kick. We'll see if they want to try to put something together in 20 seconds. It's actually a low kick. And that's going to go out. So we'll end the half with the Portland Bulldogs and the Marshwood Hawks tied 0-0. Zero to zero. And we will be back with second half action momentarily. Bow Bay in the middle with Sam Farr. We've got Josh Irving here close to us. And on the far wing, rushing down on the right side, it looks like Frank. Alex Frank. It's nothing to nothing after the half. And we'll see what kind of half the Bulldogs come out to play here. You really can't say it was a lackluster half. They had about eight sh uh, shots on goal, but all uh, six of them were saved by Leith, the goalie. Marshwood had by my count, one, perhaps two shots on goal and one save by Bobby Brittingham. Now, this will be a kick, Hanson Casey, who had a heck of a first half for the Hawks. We'll tee it up. That's low, though, and Dahir gets it. Chest pass over to Yama. Yama tried to find Bobe on the wing. It didn't quite work, but now his far over to Yama, and now to the right side to Alex Frank. And that goes just out. Long throw by Casey. Here's Charlie Govan. Lately, and uh, 
maybe even more so than ever, you get a real sense of confidence when Charlie Govan gets his foot on the ball. He's just a thinking man soccer player this year. Look at that nice pass to Farr by Govan. So the crowd goes wild for a soccer game. <laughs> a big long kick in, a shot on goal, and here we are, Bobby! Oh, wide left! Oh my gosh, folks, that close to a score, three minutes into the second half. Irving goes down. This fellow here, Gilbert, has been in, in a lot of plays too. Devin Gilbert. The senior mid midi. Here's Ikpakunda with a long throw. He uh, hurt his leg on that throw. He, he did a little split and he's limping. But I guess he's okay, thankfully, as Tim Baker with a beautiful settling uh, right there, and that's going to be kicked out by Fife. And Bobe to throw. Irving to Bobe. Bobe's got three defenders on him. And Oliver Brochu will just let it go out. The call is blue ball. Whoa, boy, that was sent in with authority by Casey. You've got to think that the Marshwood Hawks at halftime heard from their coach that they can win this game. Ben DeShane is their coach. The assistants are Tristan Morell and Bobby Pratt. The athletic director is Rich Buzzle. The trainer is Greg Abbott. The principal is Paul Melhorn. Portland coached by Rocco Frenzilli, Steve Debris, Bobby Brittingham, Joe Giordano. Athletic director is Mike Conley, trainer Ryan Lucas, principal Deb Mignault. And here tonight also a survivor, a cancer survivor, assistant principal Kathy Marquis Gerard. We've seen Kim White, assistant principal at several games this year. And here we go now with an opportunity, Frank, to far over everything. So Harun Habibzai checks in for Jonathan Bobe, who had the best chance for the Bulldogs this evening. And it now is early evening as it's a quarter of seven actual time despite when you may be watching this game Habib's eye he's got a man on dumps it off to Irving and really does a great job keeping it in and a great pass and score Irving to Sam Farr one to nothing Portland with 33-34 left in regulation Folks, that was what the doctor ordered for the Bulldogs. And Marshwood, though, threatening. Oh, my goodness. As it was blocked, it's going to be a corner kick there on the kick by Ryan Fife. 
And taking the corner will be number 11, Ryan Gould for the Hawks. So it goes in and, oh, kicked out by Oliver Brochu. How many times have we seen him do that this year? And actually, let's see that if that's Brochu, it is, I think. That was a great uh, play by Oliver Brochu. So the clock is, uh, who gets the yellow here? Let's see who gets it. It's gonna be number 22 with the foul here. It's Devin Gilbert. A little early here for frustration, but uh, he really, Charlie Govin uh, showing nice composure there. And uh, checking in now. For the Hawks will be number nine, Zachary Wilson, sophomore striker. So Bakunda will take the free kick. He'll take it from about the 43-yard line, however, so too far for to get a shot on, of course. Oh my gosh, here we go. If Charlie can turn it. He had three defenders on him anyway, though, but there was an effort. Number seven here is Lamberts. Here's to here. Uh, we'll see what the call. Oh, Haroon, thankfully, on sides. As six got back, uh, Fife, and here's the shot on and the save. Sam Farr. Portland already with four shots on goal, just Nine minutes into the second half here. They have rather four, did I say four shots on goal? They had eight shots all of the first half. So they've halved that and they've come out kicking the Portland Bulldogs. Ik Bakunda with the long throw. And give and go is Haruna Bibzai. Hits him on the back of the arm, not called. Didn't, he wasn't even looking that way. And here's Charlie Govan again. Perfect seeing eye pass there to Alex Frank. And now Yaman in the middle. Tim Baker up here now at mid. Oh, we'll see what the call is. It's going to be Portland ball. So Sam Farr will come take the kick. 10 yard wall. He'll have Irving, Yama, Habibzai, Govan, and Eek rushing in. It's up. Oh my gosh, what a great kick. Almost bent in. But saved by Leith. And now here's an opportunity for the Marshwood Hawks. Oh, and that's gonna be a Portland throw. As Tim Baker ticks it, kicks it off of, I believe, Kyle Klaus. So here comes Ike Bakunda now with a throw. Uh, there's a whistle. And Ike is uh, sent back a little bit as number 22 Stephen Barry set to check in for the Bulldogs. The dogs just have so much depth, folks. Taking a rest will be Alex Frank. And uh, a little too soon, as uh, <laughs> the sub hadn't checked in yet. Playing with a pink ball this evening honoring breast cancer survivors.